Ah, Clive. You wanted to talk? The man I was watching earlier, the one speaking to my sister. He represents the Silver Peak Consortium. It's one of the bigger trading houses. I don't think I've heard of them. Well, every trader in Darmekia has. They operate across the length and breadth of the Republic. And they're still expanding. They've been trying to get Eloise to join their ranks for some time now. And judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. And you'd rather she didn't? I would rather she did what makes her happy. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others like me ever since. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her give up on her dreams again for my sake. She freed me from my bonds. And she must be freed from hers in turn. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor. By letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. For my sake. She loves you. And I love her. Which is why I want this time to be different. To show her that I don't need to be watched over anymore. Though I'm sure I'll still need some help from time to time. I trust that I can count on you. Always. Thank you, Clive. Well then, I had better get back to work. These bearers aren't going to move themselves. That's a job for the Crimson Caravans. All right. That line's not over yet. That much is very, very clear. All right. I think that's it now. And now we're going to... Head into the free cities of Canver. And I expect there's going to be some sheet going on here. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. How are even listening most of the time? Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> My boy, Uncle Byron, <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Stop! So these Akashic are being controlled? That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned. But silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. 
Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. <laughs> She's so precocious, I just Shall love her. And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. Is it dungeon time? It is dungeon time. All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. Bork, bork, bork. They don't stand a chance against those things. Only level twenty? Oh good lord. Ah, that's more like it. Ah, come on. I wanna worry about the big boy, but Ah. 
let's quickly, because I just noticed we have a lot of ability points right now. Well, let's go use those. Okay. Where are we going, Torgal? Okay. Sounds good. turned it just seems the most logical explanation anyway <laughs> here you betcha Timing.
Okay. That's our correct way. Two thousand gill. That was a good chest. That's oh. something big. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Oh dear. That was a good stagger.
where the city's leaders gather. There may still be survivors inside. Time to drop a save. commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt, and now you're here, with an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are... divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am safely of House Harvard. And you will yield! I think not. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Gungnir. Gungnir. Watch closely, Mythos. Oh my god!
That was rough. Holy Christ. Vessel is strong. My leash. Clive. You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. Oh dear. <sighs> Leaving so soon, Mythos? Oh man. It's the I'm not king. ready for this. Indeed. You may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Oh boy, I know ready for this. Did my lord commander yet i see why my master covets you so the power within you mythos the potential <laughs> stop calling me mythos but mythos is everything the cornerstone of all creation the lord's vessel your purpose purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing no your majesty my purpose is my own I made a promise to my friends to my people and nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Joshua! 
Oh man. Oh no, this is not good. Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Jesus. be all right the phoenix can mend flesh but the spirit must recover on its own i'm afraid the rest is up to him this place is remarkable outfitting it must have been no small feat but why go to such trouble that beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for if the guilds caught wind of what we're up to they'd all want a piece all right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? Are you not mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. You're awake, my boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the King busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... 
if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Yeah, we totally weren't ready for that. Oh, Jill. Oh my god. So this will be Walud over here. Probably where they're headed. Gav said that Otto might know something. New items at Karen's. New crafting recipes. New missives. Alright, Karen, what do you got for us? Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Let's talk. Rune Blade. We'll take not that. Find a better price than that. Burn belt is less, but might upgrade to more possibly. We'll buy blind, it, but we won't know. equip it. Burn crescents. It's better I'll be here. Yeah. me blind you know it'd better i'll be mm. here okay, and then we'll sail i reckon i can find a buyer you got out else i reckon i can find a buyer valuable can be traded for gill you got out else come again oh don't I'm not much bothered either way. Trouble with your gear, or...? Always. So, will it be? Okay. We can do... Not bad, if I do say so myself. Not actually upgrade to something better than what I've got. Still gonna do it, but. It'd last you a good while. No scratches, right? Still nothing. You can thank me later. Should do you. Oh, I'm almost out of meteorite. I need two more. And I think I can buy those. I'll go buy those. Clive. Coin purse weighing you down. You'll not find a better price than that. Oh, will it be? There we go. You can thank me later. And? Okay, so we've done that. Missives.
Oh, this is just due to... What's that? Open ten letters at the reading table. Oh, it's just a... okay. Just gonna go ahead and open all of them. Okay, Wade... Martha... Eloise... Otto... Our collectibles are getting to be more. King Man. Guardian Scarf. And Continental Sensor. Quickly, I think we'll go talk to Tomes real quick as well. If it's knowledge you see. Let me help. I know my letters. Uh, my good morrow to you, my friend. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. Oh, you almost. You wish to study the tomes? Getting there. Scholastic Savant. You are always welcome, Clive. Okay. supposed to do our duty when the hill Clive but if you're here where the hell is everyone else don't tell me they're all right but it's a long story you lot don't do things by halves do you well at least everyone's still breathing now as for these writings I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Search mid dungeon. The dun dun. If Amber and the Lazarus are gone, do you think mid's ship will ever sail? All right, let's see what we got. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking.
Look at some of the stuff that's in here. Doll. Rug. Bits and bobs. Never really took a good look at what's in here. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. That leather loosener was only the first of the discoveries the Olympic's gonna help us make. Just you wait, Sid. Just you wait! Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but, uh, you really shouldn't be in here. If Mid caught you rifling through her research, she'd have your head. Then mine for letting you. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Continue searching. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Mid a doll. I know you like your riddles, so I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Of all my inventions, this one's the best, and so when choosing its place of rest, I called upon I recalled your opus, daughter dearest, and now it sleeps there in the first. I'm gonna to have to I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. Good luck, Sid. Sid's best invention. Huh. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. First opus. find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Well, they called the orchestrion. Cole said it was an army of a cashier. 